الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء الله سبحانه وتعالى <coughs> says في كتابه الكريم Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive that you commit shirk with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarifies wa ta'ala that shirk is unforgivable. So that the one who dies associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not be forgiven that they died upon kufr and they will dwell in the hellfire forever wa'iyadun billah min dhalika that lets us know the importance of emphasizing tawheed in our da'wah and the importance of warning against shirk in our da'wah so those people who want to focus only on social issues and social ills which are important have missed the minhaj and nabuwa they've met, missed the way, the methodology of the NBA that they focused on removing shirk and denouncing the taghut, those things worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they focus on calling to Allah azza wa jal and this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem that all the anbiya call to tawheed which tanibu taghut and that they avoided the taghut or they renounced and denounced the taghut those things worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those people those idols those things which were worshiped besides Allah azza wa jal so shirk is the greatest sin and Tawheed is the ultimate deed and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam